So you have imagery in your Illustrator document. Well, how do you resize images in Illustrator? Everything is an object, even images. Click it, drag it around, move it around. It also has a bounding box. You go to the edge of that bounding box and you're gonna be able to see this double-ended arrow that will allow you to resize the image. Now be careful because see how we can skew our image? That doesn't look right, so we're gonna undo that. What we need to do when we resize images is hold shift. Holding shift will keep it in proportion. No matter where your arrow is, it's gonna be in proportion. So it will never skew the image, which is very important. So once we resize that, we can move it around in our document. And another thing we can do, just in case you were looking for a different option where, what if I wanted this image to be square, but I don't wanna skew it? Well, what you could do is create a shape, like the rectangle tool to create a square. To do this, once again, hold shift so it's not skewed like this, like a rectangle is. Hold shift, we'll create a real square, and then we let go. Now, with this square created on top of our image, we can actually select both. Press V for that selection tool. Click and drag, select both of these, or you can click on the square, hold shift, click on the rectangle. Once you have them both selected and the square is on top of the image, right click it and go to make clipping mask. The clipping mask uses that top square as a window into the image. So now we have a square image. We also have the bounding box here, so we can resize this. Click and drag on that anchor point, hold shift to keep it in line, and we can resize this window and the image at the same time. Now, if you didn't quite get the right part of your image, that's okay. We can double click in this to isolate this clipping group. And now you can see how when I hover over the image, I'm actually hovering over and I can see all the bounding edges of that image. If I click, I actually have that image selected. So I can move the image around to get it fit just exactly where I want it. I can use my arrow keys to nudge it around as well. And I can hold shift and my arrow keys at the same time to do larger nudges. The other thing I can do in here, you might notice that if I hover over the edge of this, I can actually click on the window shape that I've used and I can make edits here too. So I could readjust that square window that I'm seeing the image on very easily. I even see corner widget tools here. So I can make it a rounded corner window into my image. I keep calling it a window because if you're new to Illustrator, I think that's the best way to visualize a clipping mask is it's like a little window into whatever's inside of it. In this case, a picture of flowers. So to get out of here, Let's click back on layer one and we're actually still isolated. So we'll hit this back arrow. Now we're back out to the top. And no matter what we've done here, we can still resize this. Now, I showed you how to resize just holding shift. If you add another modifier key, alt on windows or option on a Mac, it actually resizes from the center out. I use that a lot. It's kind of helpful at times when you don't wanna move your image, like see how holding shift moves it down to the left, but holding option will resize it this way. So that's how you can resize images here in Adobe Illustrator.